action. The cancellation of Kanye West could lead to World War III simply because it highlights how corrupt our society is. All this man did was make some comments, and after he made those comments and what happened to him, Chase Bank told him, take your money and leave. They were able to deplatform one of the most powerful men in our society, and once that happened, I had to ask some questions. Why in the world is someone else's history more important than mine? Why is someone else's lived experience more important than mine? And so that took me down a journey. I wanted to understand the Holocaust. And once I started to understand the Holocaust, it was a bigger picture. Then I had to understand World War II. And now if you tell me that the Holocaust is one of the most nastiest atrocities in the history of human existence, then I'll be like, okay, I understand. Until I go to World War II and I see that the Soviet Union lost 26 million people. And so if I see 26 million people died and Stalin, and Stalin starved uh, millions of people in gulags, then I ask myself, why in the world do we only talk about the Holocaust and 6 million dead, but we don't talk about the Soviet Union and Stalin and 26 million dead? He starved his own citizens in his own nation. And somehow Joseph Stalin was best friends with America. He was our ally. And so I start looking at the Holocaust, yes? The Soviet Union lost 26 million people. China lost 15 million people. Germany lost around 6 million people. Poland lost around 6 million people. And when you start having these numbers and you look at the totality of World War II globally, we lost somewhere around 80 million people. 3% of the global population died during World War II. But when we have a conversation about the Holocaust, we only say Hitler. How in the world is Hitler our enemy, but Stalin was our best friend? And I'm not saying that Hitler was some type of nice guy. He was a horrible human being who killed innocent individuals for no reason at all, only based on their ethnicity. And that right there is completely, completely unacceptable. When you start to have revisionist history and then a man starts to talk about history, Kanye West, once he starts to talk about history and the impact of history on our modern day society, and that leads a person like me who has just to ask some questions. And so once I raise my hand and start asking some questions, then I start to deep dive. What was America's relationship to World War II? When Hitler was over there killing all those Jews and there was mass atrocities and while Stalin was killing all these dang on Soviet uh, citizens, why was America neutral? That America said, hey, we don't want to participate. Hands off. We are neutral until Japan came and bombed Pearl Harbor. And so when you look at World War II, America probably lost 450, 500,000 individuals. And so in its totality, America, since we're so far away from the war, we didn't really have no skin in the game. And so when you have, when you look back at history and we say that Hitler was so bad, then why wasn't Hitler so bad in 1939 when World War II started? Why wasn't Stalin so bad while he was starving his citizens? How in the world do we make allies with a murderous person? You start asking questions. And since we start asking questions, it brings me all the way back to modern day society. If I cannot have an honest conversation about history, then that prevents me from having an honest conversation about my modern day life. Everything that I'm saying right now can be censored in real time by artificial intelligence. I have digital overlords who have strings attached to me who tell me what I can and cannot say. We had real people in real time tell Kanye West, you must be silent because if you have any type of conversation about Jewish people or the Holocaust, then you're anti-Semitic. How in the world does having a conversation make you anything? It's a person having a conversation about a matter that should be uh, discussed. We should discuss World War II. We should discuss what happened so we can understand what will lead to World War III. And censorship and digital censorship from our Googles and Facebooks, our digital overlords can control what we say. And if you tell me that I cannot openly and honestly speak about any subject, that's going to lead to internal chaos. I was exceptionally worried about a civil war. I thought that there was going to be a civil war based on ideology. But America, oh my goodness, what is America right now? America is a fat, rich, weird kid. <laughs> you hear me? It's a fat, rich, weird kid. We're not worried about anything except for being gluttons. We're not worried about anything except for sexual deviancy. And then putting these things as priorities in our society is letting the majority of society just erode away. We are completely destroying ourselves. There's a great quote that no great nation can ever be conquered from the outside until it destroys itself from within. And America is destroying itself from within based on anti-human ideology. 
We want to promote all these things that do not create life. A man and a woman make a baby that increases the population. And as our population grows, then our gross domestic product grows, which means our economy grows. We get more money because we have babies. But for some reason, we want to promote an unhealthy lifestyle where you can be fat and nasty and weird. And somehow that's supposed to be the status quo. I'm going to fight back against propaganda. And so when I make a statement that says the cancellation of Kanye West might lead to World War Three, that's just me saying that we don't have the capacity to be honest people. American society right now, you, the greatest American alive, we are not serious people. Because if we were, we would understand power. We would look back at history and we'll look at Joseph Stalin. We will look at uh, Adolf Hitler and would have conversations about what made these men so powerful. They looked at societies and said, ooh, that society is fat and weird and rich. And if we conquer that society, then they'll make us more powerful. And that's what they did. They fought for absolute power. And you can't get scared when you understand history you, you cannot be scared when you understand humanity. Humans will always strive for power. Kanye West is striving for power, but he's doing it through culture and producing product. And when he's fighting an honest fight, when he's doing it legally based on your rules and you tell him he can't play the game no more, then people like me, poor people like me, economically challenged, uh, politically challenged people like me will look and say, damn. If Kanye West cannot have a fair shot in our society, then where do I stand? What is my position in this nation? Why in the world am I supposed to be uh, beneath and underneath someone else's ideas and someone else's history? That's like telling me, man, that I'm a second class citizen. That's like telling me that I have no value. That's like telling you, the American citizen, that you have no value. And so when you look at World War II and how many people died, we lost 3% of the global population during World War II. 80 million people estimated, right? And so if you take that exact same information and you bring it back to modern day America or the modern day global society, what's 3%? There's 7.7 .7 billion people on the planet. That uh, My numbers would tell me that's somewhere around 230 million people dead if we lost 3%. But we got weapons that are more better than World War II. There are nine nations on the planet that have nuclear weapons. We're going to exponentially have more chaos and more destruction than World War II, at least twofold. And so that means that we're going to lose at least somewhere around 200, uh, 460 million dead people globally because we can't have honest conversations about history, because we can't honestly uh, talk about our real lives in present day society. And that's when we get to the nasty place of chaos and destruction. Because when you start lying to people, when you promote propaganda, then common folks raise their hand and ask a question. And when you lie, we say you're a liar. And once we understand that you're a liar, I don't give a shit about your technology. I know America has lots of powerful weapons. I know there are lots of powerful weapons all around the globe. But there has never been anything more powerful in the history of existence than the human person. And when you're able to uh, belittle or demean or control or conquer any human person, those people will respond. When you publicly castrate, when you publicly whip and cancel a man as powerful as Kanye West, who represents an entire group of people. When you go back to Germany, Germany hated the Jew. And before Hitler, Germany hated the Jew. And so they persecuted them. And when you come back to modern day America, America since its inception has hated the black American. It has hated the black skin in its nation. We had legal segregation in America all the way up to 1965. My father was born in 1956. And so in my dad's lifetime, not my great grandfather, my great great grandfather, we don't have to go back to slavery. You hated my daddy. And so based on modern day society, you hate me too. And then when you persecute a man like Kanye West, you're telling me you still hate me right now in 2023 by telling me that we don't have the ability to discuss our actual plight in this society. And so what's the response? You dive into history. You understand history and you use history to understand modern day today, which brings me to the place where when you cancel a man as powerful as Kanye West, then you're promoting the possibility of World War Three. And the only way that we can solve this problem, the only way that we can heal this nation and prevent us from going to a civil war, because a civil war 
will lead to the rest of the world looking at America and saying, oh shit, we have an opportunity to go beat up the big fat uh, weird kid. Because that's what we're doing right now. Our posture on a global scale is not being a powerful entity. It's not being a powerful nation. It's about, they look at us and say, Americans are not serious people. Eating food, being fat, and being sexual deviants is more important than being a moral, sound, strong nation that promotes family values to uphold a great nation like ours. And now that's one of the most bestest quotes in the history of the world when it says that no great society can ever be conquered from the outside until it conquers itself, until it destroys itself from within. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive. The greatest American alive.